Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about a pistol that I've already covered and want to rehash one more time to talk about my experience with carrying it for a year. We are going to be talking about the SIG P365X Macro Comp. It is a bit of a tongue twister, but uh, in my very first video about it, people are trying to correct me. But at the time of me purchasing the pistol, it was known as the P365X Macro. They added the comp at the end once they introduced the Macro without a compensator. And uh, to be honest with you guys, I've been carrying it for a year. I wanted to bring this video to you to talk about my experiences with it since I have been carrying it. And spoiler alert, it's been great. I've had zero issues with it. We're approaching that 1,000 round mark. I don't know if I'm actually <clears throat> at 1,000 rounds quite yet, but we're really close to getting there. Uh, obviously, I take it out to the range and shoot it on a regular basis to ensure that um, I'm proficient with my carry gun. I also take it to my local IDPA matches. Uh, they're kind of a wildcat match, so it's a mashup between IDPA and USPSA. And um, it's just been a lot of fun to take my carry gun with me every once in a while, probably once a quarter, and run a competition with it and see how it ends up fair and for me. What I can tell you is this particular setup right here has been flawless. I, I really have no issues with it whatsoever. I've had zero failures to feed, fire, or eject. Um, it has just, it's just been solid. And I know that a lot of people have a lot of issues when it comes to SIG, especially with their newer models. Everything since like the uh, P320 and forward, a lot of people like to bash on, you know, oh, don't drop it and stuff like that. But I can tell you that every single variation of the P365 has been flawless, whether that be the old school, regular P365, I have a XL and now the XL, or excuse me, the X macro comp. Uh, this thing has been great. I really, really do like it. Now, one of the biggest issues that people have had with this particular pistol is the fact that there has been some rusting issues. And I can tell you for one year now, I have had zero issues with rust on this. Now, I may be a little bit different than other people. I do examine my pistol, look at it, clean it, if I need to about once a week. Um, at the very least, I'm taking a look to see if the optic is intact, it's not loose, make sure that I dust off the lenses, look at all of the different features and make sure that it's good to go. And it's good to go. Uh, no rusting issues whatsoever, with the exception of my backup mag that I have in this QVO Tactical holster. Uh, this is a really nice holster. Just a real quick overview of it. It's exactly what you would expect from a sidecar style holster. Gets into place, sets in. I have no issues with it whatsoever. The uh, clips on here are uh, tuckable for your shirt, so that's nice as well, but uh, no issues whatsoever. Retention on it is very, very nice, and I really do like it. Now, as far as the backup mag that I carry with this, I have noticed some rust on the backside here, but again, I may be a little bit different than some of the other individuals that carry their pistol every single day. If I notice anything going on, I just kind of wipe off the rust, put a coat of oil on it, and it's been good to go. So I've got some close-up pictures for you guys to see exactly what these mags look like, um, as well as the pistol itself. There is a little bit of wearing on the Cerakote or the coating on the slide up near the comp, 
but to be frankly honest with you, I'm not really too concerned about that. Take that for what you will. If that's something that you are concerned about, fine. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, there's really not too very much to worry about. Again, with the backup mag, there is a small area that is of concern that is going to rust if you're not continuously maintaining your carry firearm. But like I said, I'm looking at these at least once a week, uh, making sure that I'm wiping it down, putting a little bit of a coat of oil on it. And that seems to have been keeping that rust at bay. Now, with that being said, a lot of people have complained that if I'm spending this much money on a SIG pistol that I should not have to worry about it, especially since there has been no issues with these pistols in the previous iterations, whether it be the P365 or the XL models. And I fully agree with you. If there has been no issues with the previous iterations, then there should be no issues with this one. But there have been reports of rust and that is a major concern. So take that for what you will. I, again, have not had any issues, but again, I do continue to maintain my firearms on a regular basis. The Streamlight TLR7A that I have attached on here has been flawless. I uh, had it for over a year and have yet to change the battery on this. So great uh, weapon mounted light for those of you who like to add that on there. And then finally, the Hollow Sun EPS Carry has been rock solid as well. Uh, obviously, for a defensive pistol, this is going to be exactly what I would want. Enclosed emitter, I'm starting to become more and more a proponent for a closed, enclosed emitters for your carry pistols. Um, should you choose not to use a red dot, I totally understand that as well, but uh, I like red dots. I like to use the new technology for aiming a pistol and it makes it a lot easier. I don't have to align a rear sight with the front sight and then put rounds on target. I just put the thing on the thing and pull the thing and that's how I do it. <laughs> Black magic, I guess. Unless you're Ken Hackathorn and then, then you know, you're, uh, this, is, this is all heresy, what I have in my hand right now. So, with all of that being said, I can tell you that this pistol has been phenomenal. I do know that Radian has had a new ramjet that they are introducing that is going to allow you to run a uh, integral comp on your pistol. So, you know, should you have a P365 XL and a P365, you want to add their ramjet and afterburner set up, you could do that. Uh, but essentially it is really doing the exact same thing as the X macro comp. So a lot of aftermarket starting to stir up in the P365 arena. And that's something I really, really do like. So if this is something that you guys like, I would say definitely jump on it. If it's something that you're interested in, definitely get to a range that has one for rental. I will say that in comparison to other pistols that I conceal carry, such as the CZ P10C or even the Glock 19 uh, Gen 5 MOS, uh, this pistol is probably going to be a little bit more uh, flippy as far as the recoil goes, even with the comp, than some of those larger pistols, even though that this is approaching that Glock 19 size pistol. However, shooting this in competition, under time, under stress, I have found that I have been exceptionally accurate with this. Um, not the fastest, I will say. I, I have shot faster with other pistols, but this particular pistol has done very well, and I have been able to stack rounds right on top of each other. So very happy with this particular setup, and I'm going to continue to carry this particular pistol as my primary setup as well. 
What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section down below. What is your favorite carry pistol? Do you like SIG as far as the P365 line for concealed carry? I really do like them, whether it be the OG, small, you know, 10 plus round capacity, or the XL version, or now even this X Macro Comp. Um, this is approaching that Glock 19 size, but a lot thinner and a little bit easier for me to conceal carry. But I really do like how this all sets up. And we are going to go ahead and get it dangered up, put it back into the holster, ready to go to conceal carry as I need it. But that's what I've got for this video. I'll leave it to you guys. Sound off in the comment section down below. What do you think about SIG? What do you think about the P365 series? Let me know. I have really come to like these pistols. Um, probably not the best for everybody, but at the very least, I've carried it for a year. It's been comfortable, especially with this QVO tactical setup, and I'm going to continue to carry it. It's one of the most accurate pistols that I have in my arsenal. So with all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so much for swinging by. We will catch you guys next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Bye, y'all.